What age were you when you were introduced to porn? Now I want to ask you a different question. How long has it been since you've started watching? Since you've been addicted? How many months, years is it? I won't even bother to ask days because I know it's not days. I know it's probably a minimal of a couple years because I struggled to for quite a few years. But then here's the big question. How do I stop? <laughs> hey, first things first, how are you? I hope things have been good and I hope you've been all right. Yeah, yeah, gather round boys, we've got an emotional vid. <laughs> Pornography, it is a huge problem in modern day society, in the modern world. It's a massive problem. You know, there was a time that I went to Thailand like a year ago and uh, I was looking after this nine-year-old kid, super, super lovely, really good at chess, like really good at chess. And um, he, was, he was such a sweet kid. And this is when I just started my channel and uh, he already knew about porn. At nine years old, he already knew. How fucked is that? When it comes down to actually getting rid of this addiction or how I actually got rid of this addiction, like actually like cured it, is get rid of the triggers. There are so many triggers out there that will stimulate you to want to go onto the hub and then, you know, do the deed. And that is the main problem. Not, not a lot of the time you actually think, oh, I'm going to go onto Pornhub and I'm going to go, you know, most of the time it's you are scrolling on Instagram or social media or TikTok. You see someone or something that is stimulating, that's a trigger, and then you go onto the app. Then you go onto porn. That's the problem. It's a lot of the triggers and simply just get rid of them. If the trigger is a huge problem, get rid of them. Don't go through your social medias look i know right now maybe you can't delete social media maybe you're not at that stage on your self-improvement journey yet that's okay that's fine you will get there but for now go through your following and i know this is kind of risky to ask because like it might be a trigger right now just to go look at your following but unfollow all those things that are triggers all those people all of those accounts on every single social media platform that you have that you go on unfollow those accounts that are triggers you do not need them they are not beneficial to you the next thing that i did that helped me cure my porn addiction after five six years of it was aggression you have to hate porn you have to come to hate it like if you think about it two different people you know the guy the sad guy who's saying like, oh, I know I shouldn't go on porn. Oh, oh, I feel so guilty. Oh, I'm so sad. Compared to the guy who's aggressive, who hates porn is saying, no, I hate that. That's disgusting. That is training me to be the gremlin who likes watching it instead of actually taking action. You know, that's, that's a complete deterrent from my goals. That will drag me from my goals. I hate it. It's gross. Which do you think, which person do you think will be more successful? Yeah, the second guy, right? We all know that. You need to have a bit of aggression. You need to hate it because it's it's gross, man. <laughs> it's, it, it's all acting. It's not real. And it is training you to be the guy who sits in the dark and likes to watch it and is okay with that. Is okay with not actually partaking in it yourself. You're basically training your guy to be the person who sits in the court, in the fucking, what is it? The cupboard in the wardrobe and watches it out of a creepy little pee pee hole. Like, that's what you're training yourself to be. And when I started seeing myself like that, I started to aggressively hate porn, and it really did help. And the last thing, the last thing that's helped me massively to curing this addiction is boredom. You see, majority of the time, majority of the time when you actually go do the deed, it's because you're bored. It's not actually because you're horny. Because we all get horny. We, that's normal. That's natural. We all have that urge. But a lot of the time, we don't do it because of that urge. And that's the problem. That's the addiction. You do it when you're bored. You know, does this sound like you when you're at home alone? Uh, it's late at night and it's dark. You've got your phone and you have nothing to do. It's a weekday. You haven't got school. You've done all your homework or you've procrastinated your homework. So you don't want to do it. Your family's out, you have nothing to do, you're bored of video games. That's probably when you do it, isn't it? It's when you're bored. That's prime time. Boredom. 
So just fill up your time with things that will prevent you from being bored. If you fill up your time with something, you are way less likely to do it. So for me, I started learning the piano again. I started learning the guitar again. My guitar is over there. And then um, I also started skateboarding. Loads and loads of things to fill up my time and it helped. You know, I do YouTube, I edit, I do all the editing and like thumbnails and like titles by myself. I could pay for someone else to do it, but I want to do it myself because it fills up my time and it distracts me from it. I'm not bored, so therefore I don't want to go on it. You know, I'll skate outside and when I'm outside with friends, I don't then think, oh, I'm going to go bust up like with them. That's really weird. So like, it's not on my mind at all when I'm out with friends skating or when I'm trying to learn a new song with guitar. It's hard at first, but then I do it and I feel really good or a new song on the piano. I fill up my time with a lot of things to do, you know, reading, self-improvement, gym, skateboarding, YouTube. I fill my time with so much stuff so I don't, so I don't get bored and so I don't give in. Look, real talk, one-on-one, one-on-one. What do you do about the urges then? Because you will get the urge again. You will fail again on this sort of like no porn addiction or like no fab. Everyone's heard of no fab. You will fail again. And the idea is to understand that that's fine. Look, in two years time, you know, it, it's been two years since I've been on self-improvement. It's been over a year since I've quit porn. And you know what? Just talking about it in, for this video, I've gotten the urge. Just by talking about it, you will get the urge again. You know, this people, I, I hate on YouTube, like so many people talk about the fact that you can never do it again. You can never get the urge again. You can, oh, if you do, you're a disgrace to humanity. <laughs> you are a disgrace, disgusting. But it's natural to get the urge. That's normal. It's normal to get horny. It's actually healthy. Like if you're with a stunning, stunning woman, it's normal to get horny. It's normal to have morning wood. It's actually unhealthy to not get morning wood, which actually 60% of guys don't. And that is because you're overstimulated brain from porn. But you have to keep in mind that you are going to get the urge again, that you are gonna fail at some point in your life, whether it be two years, whether it be two months, whether it be 20 years, you're gonna fail again. But when you do, do not beat yourself up so much. You know, say for example, you watch this video in two weeks time you know what i'm not gonna do it. i'm not going to you know i'm gonna do what he says i'm gonna do what uh, <laughs> what wilder says for, from what he's learned from he did himself to quit porn i'm i'm gonna be aggressive i'm gonna not, i'm gonna hate porn i'm gonna get rid of the triggers and i'm gonna stop being so bored when i and then i go on it i'm gonna fill up my time with things i want to do those stuff i've been putting off but in two weeks you fail you watch porn you go do the deed don't beat yourself up and then give up Okay, I messed up. I failed one day, right? But two weeks. I have never ever gone that much before. Since before I got addicted. That's really good. The next time I'm, I fail, I'm going to try and make the gap more than two weeks. Maybe a month. In a month's time, you fail again. I'm pissed at myself, yeah. But I didn't do it for a month. That is more than I've ever done. Next time, I'm going to try two months to open up that gap before I fail again. See, that's the mindset you need simply to not give up, to stay, to, 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 to stay consistent and to simply not give up. I'm not telling you this like as a guru, as a monk, I have not fapped in three years or something like that. Because there have been, I have failed, man. I was in the exact same boat as you. I have failed. You know, I get the urge. It's normal. It's just aiming to improve, to widen that gap before you fail again. Look, there may be a couple comments, you know, my most popular video, uh, this is when I was really into red pill content and I was making short content and stuff. My, my most popular videos aren't good for you, don't watch them. But my most popular one was talking about a kid who, you know, was addicted, well not addicted to porn, but he found porn in his library, in the kid's library, which is kind of messed up. And a lot of people opened up on that. A lot of young teens, a lot of young guys opened up on that. And a lot of young women as well. You know, it's a problem for everyone. Everyone is suffering from this. A lot of people opened up and if you want to do the same here, if you, you know, have the courage to open up and talk about your experiences in the YouTube comments section, I hope you're good, man. I hope things have been all right. I'll personally go through every single comment and try and answer everything. 
I hope things have been all right. I hope you've been good. And uh, I really hope this helps you out, even a little bit. And I'd be really appreciative if you clicked on the video that's going to pop up in the corner here, because maybe this video can help you out too. And subscribe if you want to see more content like this. And more importantly, stay consistent. Don't give up. You know what? Come here. Give yourself a proof of kiss.